They slept soundly in a dry cave. Then, Bilbo heard a noise. In the darkness and confusion, no one saw Bilbo crack his head on a rock and fall into shadow. When he awoke, Bilbo was alone. Hello everybody and welcome to part number 5 of this playthrough of The Hobbit. In this part I'm going to be doing Riddles in the Dark. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. You get to explore Goblin Town and uh, try to find out where these dwarves ended up. So I hope you're excited and let's go ahead and get started as soon as this loading screen is done. Oh, lost again! So, the cave here is very dark, as you can see, but if you use Sting, the for this glowing blade. if you use Sting, as Bilbo just said, it can kind of light your path a little bit, and see, it's a big difference. Now, let me whip out my rocks and destroy these fire bats. Damn, dude, I'm, like, getting wrecked here. There we go. I think there's one more bat, yeah. This is the last one. Sweet. These little vines are kind of hard to hit because they're behind all these rocks, so you just have to uh, go in there and smack them with your stick. I like using the stick because it has bigger range. So yeah, very dark here if you don't use Sting. Make sure I reach this rope. And I'm gonna use my health potion here since I'm full, but I can still restore health. There you go. And now I'm back to the max number of potions I can carry for now. So, going inside a spider nest here, it looks like. Tons of cobwebs. Look thick. I hope my sword can cut them. They're not too bad to deal with. Just one sword smack and they're done. But sometimes they come out in a large amount of numbers and it's hard to deal with. And a lot of the times there's these green looking spiders and they'll poison you. Which is very annoying. Especially if you don't have any antidotes. Seem to be doing pretty good here with the spiders though. Not taking too much damage. Killing them pretty quickly. Uh, let me just make my way around. Make sure I grabbed everything before I climb up. See that green spider right there. That was one of the poisonous ones I think. Yeah, that green one right there, those things poison you, and it's not good for anybody. Damn. Alright, I think I got everything here, so I can finally climb up and continue. And I'll be coming back here to the left in a second. There's this spider here it can kill. Nice. Some silver. Oh, come on, get up there. There we go. And as always, these blue crystals usually lead you to towards where you're supposed to go for the main quest so if you ever get lost just follow those things yeah. all right almost out of the spider cove here it looks like uh, let me just go down 
I think we're done with the spiders for now, it looks like. We're gonna enter the heart of Goblin Town. And there's a dwarf here. Let's see what he has to say. A dwarf? Hello, I'm Bilbo Baggins, at your service. I am Balfour of the Iron Hills. I am grateful for your service, but freeing me would take the service of a hundred dwarves. Or a thousand elves. Or one burglar. Hmm. Very well. Go down into the mines and find a large gate. Bribe Ugslap the guard and he'll open it. When you get through that gate, climb up to the jail. That's where they take me when I finish my work on the mining contraptions. Free me, and I will help you escape. So we got a dwarf here that has been enslaved by the goblins. They force him to make all the mining contraptions. So we're going to try to make a prison bust here. Bust him out of there. So we have to bribe Ugslag to open the gate for us so we can reach the jail. Let's see how that goes. But right now, I am going deeper and deeper into the mines. Goblins! Alright, let's kill some goblins. These guys are not too bad. You can just combo them. It's pretty easy to kill them. I don't like those fine things. I always get killed by them. Not killed, but smacked around, I should say. So we're getting a nice painting view of the entire mine here. You can see it's pretty complex. Ah, that must be the gate I need. So you can see there's a ton of things here, very easy to get lost, very easy to miss some of the collectibles just because they're scattered all over the place and this place is pretty big as you just saw. So I'm going to be very careful here not to miss anything. But I just love this level, it's really fun, very well designed. Alright, here I got a goblin with a shield. These are a bit more of a pain to deal with. Because not only do they jump around and get all acrobatic on you, dodging your attacks, but they can also block with a shield, which can be a giant pain. Especially when there are other enemies around, smacking you with their pickaxes and whatnot. Make quick work of those guys, though. And not miss this chest. There's also some goodies down here. Trying to get this crate. There we go. So the one disappointment about this level, and here's a spoiler alert, there is no Goblin King here. I was so excited when I played this when I was little that you'd have like a boss fight or something with the Goblin King, but he's not here at all, unfortunately. So if you're looking forward to that, I'm sorry to disappoint. No Goblin King. So this part, sometimes I used to fall down because I would try to kill them quickly. Like on the bridge and I'd just fall down and die. Which sucked. Damn it. It's not good to target them with uh, the Y button sometimes because it makes you move slower. I'm getting my ass whooped, dude. I need to grab some of those mushrooms. Holy cow, I only have half a health. I didn't even notice that. Could have died there easily. Damn. That's alright. There's plenty of mushrooms here to go around. Fill me up. I'm good. I'm good. And that little blue bottle up there, that's a new uh, rock upgrade. It's the freeze rocks, and it does exactly what it says. It freezes the enemy in place, but it actually doesn't do any damage to them. 
So I actually don't find it very useful. I'm having a hard time switching between the targets here. But whatever. Yeah, I mean, they do hold the enemies in place, but honestly, I really don't find it that useful. It doesn't help me too much. I'm just using it to show for the most part. If somebody knows what these goblins are saying, please let me know in the comments. I've been trying to figure it out. I think it says, get him, get him, touch his head. But that doesn't make much sense to me. So if you know what these goblins say when they attack you, let me know. So my health is filled up. I'm good to go here. Let me just grab some of the collectibles I missed here. There's a chest up here. And a crate as well. Uh, don't need that mushroom. Those green crystals I can get later on. Then I gotta ride this thing all the way down before I jump so I can get that pink courage point. So there are plenty of collectibles around here that are easy to miss if you just ride the contraptions forward. I'm trying to change my angle here. There we go. Alright. And here is the crystal that I missed pretty much every time I played this game when I was little. It's right here. You have to jump on this crate and then come here. Well, no, I missed it. Of course I did. Uh, but if you break this crate, you're kind of screwed, really. So you have to come here and get this white courage point. Bam. Man, I can't tell you how many times I missed that thing. And I just got another health upgrade, so another health bubble. After you get the white courage point, then you can smack that crate and grab the silver. But if you do it before, you're out of luck. And you can't see the white courage point as you're going from that angle. So most people just smack that crate, and that's what I used to do, and then you're kind of screwed. Hmm... Yeah, there's some stuff here, so let me get on this beam. Try to adjust my angle here so I don't fall down. Then there's this green crystal and a chest. Nice. Oh my god. Dude, really? I'm doing so bad. There we go. Gotta work on my lock picking. Alright, and here, that lighter colored wooden beams, they'll fall down, so you gotta jump over them. That's why I did that. And then we got a golden chest here. Hopefully, we got some goodies in there. Sweet. Got an antidote. I think I was already full on my antidotes anyway, but whatever. It'll be hopeful once we start dealing with some spiders. In the next level, mainly, there's a ton of poison to go around there. So it's good to have some antidotes. Fine, I can come up here and smack some golems around. Yeah, these guys with their shields, very annoying. It's better to do a jump attack on them, knock them back, and then cut them up to little pieces. Uh, nothing here. Yeah, let me continue ahead. How am I supposed to lower this bridge? Now, those barrels might be useful. Alright, so, Bilbo gives you a lot of hints if you ever get stuck. You really shouldn't get stuck in this game, honestly. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So taking this barrel off the pressure plate releases the bridge, as you just saw. And then for the second half of the bridge, you got to use that red barrel from the cutscene. There's a ton of these guys here. I'm just going to blow them up with some rocks. Damn, dude. What the fuck? They, like, pop up next to me and eat me alive. Nice. So 
Honestly, I used like 10 stones on that, but thankfully there's some here to replenish. And there's some more up there, but can't reach it from here. Alright, so let's lower the second half of the bridge and make our way across. And the way you do that is you throw a stone at that red barrel, as I'm about to do here. Let me aim. Aim a little higher than I should. There we go. Sweet. And continue to follow the blue courage points towards my main objective. Whip out my stones to blast some of these vine things again. Gotta hate these. Alright, seems like I got them all though. Uh, nothing else to collect here. So I think I can just continue forward. Make sure I grab this pink courage point before I drop down though. And there's a ton of those vines down there. Not looking forward to that fight, but I'm about to get into it. Uh, let me grab these fire rocks. These are the best, so I can just explode everything quickly. Man, look at this. Everything is just dying around me. It's perfect. Bam! Take that, dude. Alright, let me explode some of the goblins with the rocks as well. Look at that. Two rocks and you can kill one of those shielded guys. Man, that was fun. Killed like a ton of stuff there. Uh, I think this fire rock respawns, but I think it takes a little while. So let me just kill these guys. Yeah, there you go. It respawns. And not only does it give you flame rocks, I think it also gives you some extra stones. I didn't check, but I think it gives you five. Get some mushrooms, restore my health, and there's this chest up here. Damn. Damn it, dude. I got poisoned. That sucks. I think I'll just suck it up and... I'm not using antidote. I don't think I really need it. Yeah, that didn't do the too much damage. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so that gives you five extra rocks as well as the fire upgrade for a little while. So that's good. Dude, I am missing like awful. Uh, let me see if I can get that guy. No, I need to. Scoot back a little. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, it's plenty of mushrooms here to heal me up. Sweet. And let me smack this crate. Kill some more goblins up there. I think I got everything. And let me grab some more uh, fire rocks just to replenish my stones a little bit more. There you go, up to 16. Alright, let me blow up some goblins. Could use my stones, but let me do some sword combat to change it up a little bit. Dude, that guy is dodging like a boss. Still not good enough, though. Let me just fill up. There we go. And then I'll continue downwards. And I think the gate's here, actually. With Ugslag. Yep, there he is. C could you open this gate for me, sir? Please. What are you? A little rabbit got away from the cooks. Well, little rat. 
If you want this gate open, you bring me the wart stone from Crugbit. Fix the broken dwarf lift, and you can steal the wart stone from Crugbit. All right, so this guy wants something returned. We need the wart stone from Krugbit. He's one of those mage goblins. So I need to fix the lift so I can get my ass up there and then I can steal the stone like a good burglar and then bring it back. And hopefully he'll open the gate for me so I can get to the prison and save Balfour the dwarf. Sweet. I need to fix this lift to get the wart stone. Looks like it's missing a lever. All right, so I need to go get the lever for this lift so I can operate it. So let's go do that. Let's just run up there and grab it. It's pretty fun to climb up those chains, honestly. Got a key here, sweet. Mug key. It's gonna allow me to operate this mug lift here. Make sure I grab this chest. I can use my key here. Sweet. Lots of riding around in this level with the different mechanisms and all that. Pretty fun. Then here's another lift that needs a key, the grit lift. So let me go find the key over here. It's a stupid guy guarding it. Smack him silly. Damn it, dude. Got smacked. Uh, these little pots, it doesn't look like you can break them, but you can. And there's tons of courage points in them. And I used to miss that when I was a kid, because... I didn't really know you could smack those pots. They just don't look very smackable. They look kind of like they blend into the background. But... Now we know. And there's a potion here, so I'm gonna eat one of my own potions. Since I'm full. And then just grab the new one. Nice. So I got the key for the copper lift over there, or whatever it was called. Grit lift, sorry. I hope the goblins don't mind me starting all their contraptions. <laughs> Sweet. So I can ride my way across here, but let me grab this courage point. Uh, let's see if I can jump on this thing. Bam, like a boss. So this ride's pretty fun. You get a really cool view of the entire goblin mines. You can see everything. Waterfall in the back. All the other contraptions working. All the minecarts going around. So it's pretty cool. Nice view up here. Pretty fun to enjoy it. And we'll actually be riding some of those minecarts later on. That's going to be fun. Uh, let me whip my walking stick out. Because I'm going to be doing a pole jump here. To grab some extra goodies. It's a white courage point over here. Nice. And I'm taking out my sword because I'm about to do some mean battling with some goblins. Two shielded ones over here. Shouldn't be a problem though. I always like to jump and attack. I think I've mentioned that previously, but that's just the best way to do combat. Especially when you get more of the scrolls and you get some more combos. If you just jump, attack, and then just spam your B button, you can get some pretty nasty hits on them. Alright, another key. Haven't these goblins heard of key rings? Seriously, dude. So many keys everywhere. Uh, what else do I got? I think I got a health potion in this face. Yep. Mm, let me jump around here, make sure I don't fall down. Okay. 
Man, another one of those uh, vine things. I hate them. They're so annoying. They always get me. Oh, sweet. Another health upgrade. So, one more health bubble for the collection. Pretty sweet. So, the max you can get is two full, row, uh, two full rows of those health circles. And I'll definitely be getting that by the end of this playthrough. Let's see what's in this golden chest. Trying to concentrate here. There we go. Some silver bags. So I got the dim lift. I already got the key for this. So I can ride it across. So just got to kind of chill here. So it's a good time to do the riddle of the video. If you remember the Lord of the Rings trivia from the last video was... Uh, what is the Fellowship of the Ring have a uh, what does it have a guinness world record for the answer to that is the most fake feet used in a movie so they actually use 60,000 pairs of fake feet in the fellowship of the ring and they got a guinness world record book for it so pretty cool the riddle for this video is going to be pretty tough so there were two people who spent three years creating chainmail costumes and a bunch of costume pieces for the lord of the rings trilogy and the riddle is, what physical damage occurred to them as a result of just making all those chain mails by hand for three years? What physical damage happened to them? Uh, if you know the answer, leave it on my website if you're watching this live. Or, uh, if you don't know the answer, stay tuned for the next video and I'll reveal to you what happened to those poor people who just slaved away making chain mail. So I finally fixed uh, this lift over here, and I can go ahead and get up there. Hopefully get that ward stone from Krugbit. I could have just stayed up there and thrown some stones at these guys, but I'd rather do it with uh, Sting the Sword. It's more fun. Sweet. You gotta be careful here because there's this tiny little narrow path here so you can easily fall off when you're trying to kill this guy. I know I've done that in the past for sure. Not too much of a problem here. Here's my least favorite part of this level is just grabbing all these chests and courage points over here. It's uh, very easy to fall down and die. And I hope I don't do that here. Damn it. Let me make my way slowly across these beams. Grab this chest here. Alright, now I want to make sure I don't fall down while I'm jumping around, there we go. Let me line this up. I'd rather be safe than sorry while doing this part. This is the worst jump because it's a very narrow little beam and you can easily over jump it and just jump right through it and fall down on the other side. But it looks like I made it alright, pretty good. Uh, it's a ladder here, so let me grab some of the goodies down. I think there's a chest down there. Oh, no, it's a courage point. There's this crate here with a health potion. Sweet. It's also pretty easy to fall while you're jumping between all three of these contraptions. You have to time the jump pretty well in the middle of the movements. Should be alright here though. Oh. Got it. And Krugbit is just up here. 
So I'm gonna kick his ass, grab his wardstone, and then hopefully uh, Uggslap will open the gate for me. I'll grab that crate on my way back. Do you like the pain? Bam. Pretty easy to kill that guy. He usually does mage spells from a distance, but up close it's pretty easy to fight him. Man, I'm doing pretty bad here. Damn it, dude. What the hell? Finally. Uh, but the timer moves pretty slow on this chest, so it's not too bad. Oh, this must be the Sweet. Let me just make sure I grab everything up here. Grab all these pots. Uh, there's a little tiny hidden one right there. And then there's this crate. Sweet. Make sure I don't miss this crate that I left for my way back. I think that's everything. So now I can go give the wartstone to Ugg Slap. Let me make my way down there. There's a snare little beam here. Hopefully I won't fall. Alright, I'm good. Then there's another mage goblin up ahead. Go kick his ass. Nice, pretty easy. Sweet, and then there's some ledges I can fall down onto over here. Grab some more goodies. And we're right back at Ugg's lap. Right over here. Give him that ward stone. I found your ward stone. Now please open the gate. <laughs> oh, I'll open the gate. I don't know why anybody would trust a goblin, but apparently Bilbo did. And now he has to do battle with this guy. He does a ton of damage if he smacks you, and he has a ton of health, as you can see, but. Uh, just jump and smack is what I do, and it works pretty well. Nice, knock him down. He's almost dead, let me, bam. Oh, dude, he just like smacked me. This is a ton of damage. I think if I knock him down one more time, it should be good. Yeah, come on. One more hit. Nice. Sweet. So let me go get some mushrooms. Fill up my health a little bit. I think there's some more mushrooms in these crates here. Let me open the chest first in case it does damage. Sweet. Alright, full on health. I'm good to go. And now I can climb up to the jail and hopefully save Balfour from goblin captivity. So there's a prison right in front of me, but there's a chest off here to decide. Let me go grab that real quick. It's a golden chest. Damn it, dude. I get poison. That sucks. Come on. Almost ran out of time. Uh, let me use my antidote. Sweet. Those guards look much too strong for me. I'd better not try to fight them. There's Balfour. I need to set him free. Alright, so let me sneak past these guards here. Uh, if you just stay in the perimeter like I'm doing right here, it's actually pretty easy to get to Balfour. As long as you don't stay uh, exposed for too long. Alright. Is that you, Baggins? Shh, don't alert the guards. Get me out of this cage! 
How? That switch opens the gate to this cell. Yes, but what about the guard? Once this gate is open, you won't have to worry about him anymore. Cool. I love the music in here. You're just a filthy spawn of an elf. Shut up! Alright, so he distracted that guard for me so I can go smack the switch. Bam. Freedom! Time to play! Baruch Hazard! For many long years, those goblins forced me to work on these dwarf built mining contraptions. Honor demands their destruction. Follow that path. The minecart will take you out of these goblin caves. So we can definitely go to the minecarts already, but there's a ton of collectibles here in the prison area. Obviously going to be getting all these first. Let me smack some of these crates for some goodies. Now let me move this one so I can reach that ledge up there with the courage points. And there's a switch here, so I'm going to throw a stone at it. If it isn't obvious by the cutscene and that pile of stone right there. And it drops down this ladder, so I can climb up there and grab all those courage points. Sweet. I'm full on everything. Full on health, full on health potions, full on stones. I'm good to go. Here's Balfour's cage. There's a nice courage point in here. Isn't this music sweet? I love it. Uh, let me climb up, I guess. And I'm kind of skipping some of the crystals because I want to open these chests. Before I get them, some of these chests are really hard to open up here. And you can take a ton of damage from them. And I'm about to get another health upgrade that will restore my health. So that's why I'm skipping some of the crystals until I open the chests. Oh my god. See, I already like lost. I already got poisoned. Like you have to open these pretty quickly or you run out of time. And it looks like I'm screwed here. Come on. Oh man, I barely got that. So master stick tactics. Stick attacks do more damage. You can now chain three stick attacks together. In addition, you can unleash devastating spin attack. If you hold B and release it, you'll do a complete circle and damage everything around you. So pretty nice. Uh, this poison's kind of eating me alive though. I don't really want to use a potion. See, I'm almost up to another health point from my courage points playing a gamble here by opening this chest. I could easily die here if I miss it. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I'm safe. So, let me level up here. Because I only got two dots. Hopefully, it's enough to give me another health. Yep, there we go. See, that's why I opened the chest before grabbing the courage points. Because now I took damage from the chest, but then I restored everything. It's another skeleton key. And let me press this switch to open another gate in the cell area. Hopefully I don't take damage from this chest. This one moves pretty quick too. Come on, last one. Alright. Sweet. Make sure I didn't miss any courage points up here. I think there's some on this side. Nice. Alright, so now I can go back down. And that switch that I hit up there next to the chest opened this cell. There's some more courage points and silver in here. Alright, and I think I am ready to continue on to the minecarts. And find my way out of these goblin caves. Gotta climb up, I guess. Mm, 
Make sure I got the angles right here before I do anything stupid. Come on. Adjusting angles sucks, but it's important. Especially if you're not using safe, safe pedestals like I'm doing. Man, there's like a ton of goblins here. There's three of them. Let me kick their ass real quick. Nice. I like hitting multiple enemies at once. It's very satisfying. Come on, dude. Quit blocking. There we go. Nice. Let me grab this crate up here. This is a tiny little crate, too. Sweet, and I'm ready to ride the dwarf cart. The mine cart. Looks like this is the way out of here. Sweet. So this is pretty fun. You don't have to steer anything, but you have to change some of the signs. Like right here, you have to make it green. And then, uh, let's see. Leave this red. And then the next one, I want to make it green. Or I made it red. Is that right? No, I needed a green. I don't know why I changed it to red. So let me make it green. There we go. And this is going to take me right here to get the last few collectibles in this level. Big nasty white courage point. And then I got this uh, uh, Waters of Vigor. That's what it's called. I think this is the last chest in the level. Sweet. And now I'm ready to get back on the dwarf minecart and find my way out of here. And I think I just make everything red and I'm good to go. Yep. Look at that terrible face Bill makes. Anyways, uh... I think that's it for this level for the most part. I'm just gonna make my way out of here. Man, a little bit of a load zone there. Kinda lagged a little. And this should look familiar to any Lord of the Rings fan. What nasty slimy things live here. The scene is classic. So if you know Lord of the Rings, you know what's coming up pretty soon here. Gonna grab these courage points, and there's a very nice surprise for me at the top of these cliffs here. But yeah, it's the ring, and this is Gollum's Cave. Nice view of Gollum's Cave here. Hello, what's this? A ring. Sweet, so we have the ring. It gives us the ability to become invisible. We're gonna be using that very effectively in some of the later levels. But that's it for level number 5, Riddles in the Dark. I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite levels. It's just a ton of fun. Got all my collectibles here. I'm going to buy this upgrade for Medicine Chest. And that's it. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. See you later.